So how much was your allowance? Ah, just just in case other guys wanna know, like you know, how to chill out What chance to collect a guy? What's the minimum entry? Oh, but this was the real bag, hey. Mm. So what was the allowance? <laughs> this oh. was the real bag. <laughs> yeah, what was the allowance? It was um maybe fifty every week. Whoa, yeah. fifty thousand yeah, for sure. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what? Pella life was like. Almost around that amount. So this guy was giving you 50k a week? Yeah, just for staying at home. I wasn't a DJ. I wasn't really an influencer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Podcast and Chill. And today I'd like to introduce our friend of the show, Cyan Bucci. Uh, Tebucho is here because uh, Saul is still feeling sick. How are you, Tebucho? I'm good. I mean, what's wrong with Saul? Hey, man, I don't know, but he's going to get better, I think. He's getting better, guys, isn't he? Yeah, he's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be back in no time. <laughs> Malikin is here. Otherwise, dude, I don't know, like... What do you do? Like, how do, how do I introduce you? Like, are you an influencer? Ooh, um, Where do we start? I am an influencer. I'm also a DJ, a very qualified DJ. Mm. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So you're an influencer and a DJ. Mm-hmm. That's it. Uh-huh. Okay. Don't you feel like you're looking in the mirror? Uh-huh. Like she's a younger version of you. She will get there. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean by that? These babies are my sons. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's, she's, I think she's doing well for herself. I like, you know. Mm. I like girls that know their story. She's, yeah. she's, she's, you know. I'm 20 years older than her. Yeah. So you, I can say that. You know? Yeah. Of what, do your, what do your parents think you're doing? Like, when you tell your parents? Uh, definitely influencing. Like, I just feel like pushing brand awareness is more of a passion than DJing. So they know that I do both. But I just like that other side. More than, you know, playing but how do you even ex- how do you even explain what an influence is? Because I'm sure like your parents don't even know what that means. It's just boosting brand awareness. Any kind of brand, I can promote it. If you know, yeah, yeah. I can just promote your your hoodies and whatever. Yeah. Um, in exchange of of course some cash. Okay, and then yeah. why do you think people follow you though? Uh, I think it's more about my personality. Mm. I don't know. I'm just very open and very real. I don't hide anything, and. Yeah, TikTok too. Creating yeah. content, dancing. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. So you think that's why people follow you? Yeah, I think so. Not because you got a banging body. And I mean, I had followers before. So I didn't have this body uh, for maybe two years ago. I didn't. Mm. So you did year. your body? Yeah, I did. When? Uh, I did my body just last year in December. So you're 20. It was your 21st present to yourself. Yeah. It was. Why are you whispering, Munna? <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to talk louder. <laughs> but am I loud though? <laughs> yeah, you're okay. good, you're I good. think because she talks so gently, I'm also like, hey. <laughs> so what did, you do? what did you do to your body? Um, I just did a liposuction. Um, just removing like the fat on the love handles. Because you, my body before, I just took my, like I had a guy's figure. Okay. So I just wanted, because I was bullied for it for so long in high school and I just had to do something about it. You know, when I got the stacks, yeah. I decided that I'm going to use it yeah. to look curvy like you. <laughs> Did you go to Turkey as well? No, no, no I didn't. Um, I went local. Ma, oh. who's the doctor? Dr. Pat. Oh. Yeah, shout out to her. I'm also going again this month, actually. What are you doing now? I'm just trying to have a BBL, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh girl so just that like on social media people just i don't know they they've just been saying so much about the shape of it so i don't know i just feel like i wanna so you're going back to the same doctor that did your body that did the bad shape to redo a better shape she did a bad shape no i can't believe you saying that <laughs> <laughs> you saying people are Ouch. teasing you no but just at the back though remember i just did a liposuction so which your is, bum is, your, was, is your natural bum it's mine Okay. Yeah, but it's out of shape, so I just need to look more sexier. Man, I, I don't understand. Man, you look beautiful as it is. <laughs> okay, I do. And <laughs> I just want to look very perfect. Mm. So what's the perfect uh, uh, image? What do you see? I mean, just having a proper shape, like by the back. 
Isn't it weird how like uh, Kim Kardashian got all these young girls to do BBLs, whatever? Mm-hmm. Now she's removing it, right? She's removing she it. She did. Yeah. She just became white again. She was using the black people for to get money. Now that she she can be with her people, then I also just feel like it's it's not more about Kim Kardashian influencing us, but it's more about your insecurities and wanting to feel better about yourself. So yeah, you insecure. <laughs> No like I literally had an ice cream shaped body. I'm not even playing. Uh. It was too bad. <laughs> uh. So I was bullied for it also in high school. You know how I looked um, in trousers and whatever before even being an influencer. Uh. So you can imagine that it's always been my biggest dream to just have some cash and change my body. And is it true that uh, your ex paid for your your surgery? <laughs> Who's my ex? Hey man, you got so many. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I actually saved up for it. Oh, yeah. is that the truth then? Yeah, it is the truth. Saving up from all the girlfriend allowance, he didn't swipe. <laughs> I saved up. So, what was your girlfriend allowance? <laughs> is that a real thing? Yeah, I it move. is. On a hundred. On a hundred. When are you going to give allowance? Hey, man, you guys live in a different world, man. <laughs> <laughs> How much was your allowance? Uh, just, just in case other guys want to know, like, you know, how to chill out with them. What's the minimum entry? Oh, but this was the real bag, hey? Mm. So what was the allowance? <laughs> this oh. was the real bag. <laughs> yeah, what was the allowance? It was um, maybe 50 every week. Wow! Yeah. 50,000? Yeah, for sure. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what? Pella Life was like, Almost around that amount. So this guy was giving you 50k a week? Yeah, just for staying at home. I wasn't a DJ. I wasn't really an influencer. I wasn't hosting. As long as I'm staying home. He bought her out. He bought her out. Fuck. You You know, know, if you're an influencer, you need to be bought out. There's no way I'm going to stop influencing if you're not going to give me less than that. Mm. You have to buy her out. She's had to lose that bag. Oh man, it was just like more of uh, overprotectedness. I wasn't free to maybe be with other people, my family and whatever. And... Since it was my first bag, I wasn't also comfortable, mm. you know. Did in, you enjoy the sex? No. So when you you just used to think about the fifty though. Yeah, it was just more about money. But at the end, I just felt like it wasn't even worth it. So let me rather be a DJ, make my own money, mm. and it can work like that rather than having to be controlled, <coughs> completely controlled. Like you will know that you ain't shit mm. if you do one mistake. So I didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> Which guys is this the guy that you were training for with that video of you guys fighting and stuff? No, that's that's uh, he's very broke. No, it's not <laughs> that's him. That's Sian Bujo. Yeah, I've never trained it with the guy. Oh, he's he's okay. a bag. He's quite, you know, you just gotta be private with your bag. Yeah. You can't show you, the world. Did you sign an NDA that you can't talk about him? No, not even. Okay. Is he a politician or like someone famous? Oh, <laughs> No, I know nothing. Hello. Huh? I'm just ghosting. What you saying? What day? He's a politician. I can't see. Edwin, Edwin Soti. Hi, Bo. Oh, it's not him. He's cute, though. <laughs> you think so? You don't think Edwin's cute? No. I don't know. I don't know Edwin. You've never seen him? No, no. I think he's cute. I've never heard of him. But who's this guy? Is it like a businessman? Yeah, he is. Oh. He's self-employed. He's making a lot. He has clubs. He has schools. He is a politician, too. Whoa. So, yeah. <laughs> a very famous one. No, I don't think so. Is he? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, maybe it's because we had that conversation before the interview and then I don't know, you had to pretend like you don't know him. So <laughs> I'm sorry. You should have given yeah, me a yeah. You should have told no, me though but, that but, I mean, girl, I'm very don't confused. Say. I mean this is your interview, Sian. Okay, I'm my apologies. <laughs> my apologies. Oh, so you know if they were... I don't know nothing. Ah, ah, were... I wasn't there when you were getting 50,000. I'm, really, I'm, really, I'm waiting for my own. What a ghost lady. <laughs> You're really a ghost lady. Yeah, I'm a ghost lady. <laughs> and then, and then uh, 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 the guy you're training for, who, who's that guy now? Oh, I've trained with a lot of guys. All my relationships, Jay. Because you beat them up. It's just always been... Oh, what? I think it's more of standing up for myself, standing my ground. So what happens? What do they do for you to stand up for yourself? Like I think they just take advantage that I'm young with a lot of followers. And I think it's also more about... Like the guys always have a vision when they're with me. It's like they want to get more girls out of it. So they use my name. Waba lunch. I mean... I'm, I've I'm been a lover. That, I'm a sucker of love, you know. So I just like really love love, and unfortunately with them, it's not a two-way street. They have a mission, and yeah. So who was this guy? The one you you're training for recently? Recently. The, the one you looked like it was you were in a hotel. There was blood everywhere. Oh, that crazy. was my apartment. Actually. Yeah, that was wild, man. So no skipped. 
Eh, Matebujo, eh, ma, this is City Girls, relax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His name. No, no, who's here? Yeah, like, oh, it's just a random Nigerian guy that I met in the DMs. Yeah. Nothing personal. Yeah. So, are you, were you dating him or what was happening? So, it just started as um, a simple sneaky dink mm. where you just meet. Um, Sorry, man, I'm old, man. What does a sneaky dink <laughs> It's like a snack at night. Oh, snack attack. Yeah. Okay. And then you benefit in, in return. So yeah. not no feelings attached. You can call me after two months. I don't mind. Yeah. I don't need uh, proper communication. I don't need anything. It's just... So know. what was happening in that video, man? It looked wild. <sighs> so with me and him, it was quite hectic. Uh, because <clears throat> he actually wanted some bit of commitment from me. And that comes with insecurities. That comes with... I'm going back to yeah. being controlled. Sure. I'm going back to now having to live a life where you just stay indoors and impress him more than actually just creating content as I am an influencer. It's my job being a DJ. It's my job. So he just had to limit me from all of that. And I was just not impressed with that. So I had to move on. And yeah. moving on is what caused all the damage. Oh. Yeah, I had already, you know, I have quite a number of options. And then who started uh, the, the fight? Was it you who got physical? Was it him who No, got so that was my apartment. Sorry, I have flu there. Nah, so don't worry, don't worry. So he just came. For 50k, you can go to uh, <laughs> discover <laughs> or something. Have <laughs> you, have, you have somebody else? So, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I with mean. him, um, he just came to my, my apartment when he realized that I have actually moved on you know sometimes when you have money you just think that girls are always going to follow you and whatever sure. so I, I was just not that girl so yeah he just came to my apartment um, I don't know how because the security is very tight yeah. number one mm. and he just told me he's outside so I was already I slept elsewhere mm. then because he found out that I slept elsewhere he had to wait for hours until I came and that's when he just really wanted to Simple terms and my life and, what? and his, yeah. <laughs> you were, he was coming for you. Yeah, yeah. He really, really was obsessed with me. So what was he doing? Like strangling you? Was he going to shoot you? So I think it was more about using a knife you? to kill me. Yeah, because he had that on his hand. There wasn't any other object, so I had to stand up for myself and I had to hit him with something. What did you hit him with? With a vase. Yo, blampato. Hey. It's huge, hey? Eh? <laughs> I am <miss. laughs> I just had to do something, you know? Because, I mean, sometimes when you get in relationships, you you already have a life out, out of it. But yeah. it seems like with him, he just really had this entire thing with me and he really wanted commitment and he really wanted a baby with me and he really wanted this. So, I unfortunately wasn't interested because we started off as sneaky linking. So, you can imagine that when I'm committing to him, He's going to see other people. Mm. So I didn't have a vision with this guy. He's just not my type. Sure. He wasn't a type that I could commit to for years and years. It was just like for a specific time. So he couldn't accept. And yeah. He did his job. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Damn. And who was taking the videos? It was him. Uh. He was taking all the videos he had my phone with. He broke my other phone. I had two phones. And he had my phone with And he was just taking all these videos. So I was just like powerless, you know. And you haven't spoken to him since? No. But mm. he does call. Mm. He does call. I have. I know his number back here. So obviously it's just probably to try and get back to me. Try to apologize. Run me through like the people you've dated and what has happened. Because like, man, I'm losing track out here. Like from the beginning. Like who, who did you start dating and then move to who and my mom? Who? I mean, do, do you mean based on like... The scenarios I had with them on social yeah, media or just social media, yeah. Because there are a lot of guys that I've been with, but I've never had like scenes, scenes with them. Yeah, you know? I'm talking about the social media, the ones we see that's out there. <sighs> Which ones do you know? <laughs> uh, there's some guy you beat up in the car. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you had to think about that. <laughs> I had to think about that. Yeah, I had to think about that. I love that, your was energy. My, that was actually my first lover. Oh. It was so okay. cute. He was my first lover. We dated for three years. He broke my virginity on the third year. Mm. And I think oh, with that, it just came with a lot of insecurities because he's just like a short guy. Mm. And you can imagine that, like, um, being like that, having your own insecurities, now they are like big guys in the DMs, in the DMs that are trying to get to me mm. and whatever. So he was just simply insecure. And with me having to break the car, the windows, I mean, mm. it was just to overpower, my, um, overpower him mm. because I felt 
like he had already done so much on my face. She, he knows that I work with brands. He knows that I use like um, I love skincare. I love my sure, skin. So he went for what I loved. Mm. So I also went for the car that mm. he loved. He also worked hard for that. So I worked hard for my. What skin. What were you guys so, fighting about? Oh. Uh, it was time, man. It was time to break up. <laughs> it was really time. Um, there was no point where I thought I would grow with someone like this who has so much insecurities, mm. you know. And I just had to kind of like move on. And yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Dude, it seems like every time you break up with these niggas, they go wild, eh? Stop for Simonine. Hey! Simonine. <laughs> Monaki, <laughs> <laughs> delicious. <laughs> it seems so though. No, I mean it you, seems so though. They cry. But one thing about me is that. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing about me is that oh, I've, I think I've been through. Yo, I've been through so much abuse at a young age, and I feel like any guy at this point that tries to fight me or tries to be physical um, and takes advantage of me, I'm gonna fight back. I'm different. I'm real, and I'll never even say I didn't do it. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna stand up for myself. If it, even if it means someone is gonna try and break me, let it be a two way stream. Mm. Do you think you've got a temper? Sorry, uh, I don't think so. So I just meet the wrong people. There are people that are actually great. We end off really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are just other people that really want to use the same bougie name to grow out of it. And you can imagine all of them have brands. Mm. Everyone I fought with has, has a brand on social media. Oh. They want to grow. They want to obviously stay Trend. relevant. Yeah. I know. Please. And then what happened at the car wash? Car wash? Yeah. Oh my gosh, these are a lot. Hey man, hey. The car wash, can hey. you please just brief me? I don't know, you're fighting with some people at the car wash. Oh, a tavern, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, let me ask my manager, is it a tavern? tavern. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, okay. So, actually, that is some simple shit, you know. It just mm. happened that uh, they had to pay me mm. and they didn't pay me. And w I think we met the owner that night. We didn't know the owner at all. We, I think usually you talk to promoters and marketers like more. Mm. You never talk to owners and... That's when we had to meet the owner because of the situation of us not getting paid. And it just started with my manager. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. Where they, they attacked him and I'm very overprotective of my manager. Mm. You know, he does so much this for me. This guy here. This guy here. Yeah, and he's tiny, man. He, yeah, you got to protect him, man. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. So they, they, started, they started with him and obviously my whole team just started attacking him. And me having that weight, you know, um, me being the brand, um, they're obviously going to talk more about me. But he attacked the whole team. Mm. All of us, one by one. <laughs> but and you always have these views of you going, whoa. Like... <laughs> You always look like you're about to go in the biggest fight you are. Why do they always capture you on the video? I mean, guys, yes. But, mm. And you've got that face, you know, like a meme face for when you're about to fight. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, well. Um, but that's what happened. Mm. Yeah, he he attacked all of us because he clearly didn't want to pay us. And yeah, it was just like as simple as that. Do you think these promoters book you just because they want to fuck you? Who? <sighs> Who doesn't want to fuck you, baby? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Anybody here? <laughs> you <know what> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, oh, when it comes to promoters, I hardly even communicate with them. My manager does the work. Mm. But there are actually people in the industry that do not want to book me, book me at their certain places because I didn't let them, you know. Smash, yeah. yeah. There yeah. are people, you'll never see me Oh, let me not mention, but mm. at certain places, at certain clubs, because of um, the, the, the owner had high expectations, had an entire perspective that I'm very easy to mm. access. And because it didn't happen, they don't want me there ever. No matter how much we try, even if it's a birthday tour, they would just cut me off because I didn't let them do this. Wow, man. It's crazy. It's, in, the industry is crazy. So I do you think they book you? Ah, because I just, I, just in case, you know. Yep, yep, top notch. Mm, <laughs> those vibes. Yeah. You know those vibes. Oh, you know? oh yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. I mean, imagine. Yeah. 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 Okay, I hear. And you. do you think these guys book you because of your following or because you're a good DJ? No, I think it's more about my following because mm. when it comes to being a DJ, also like being in the public eye, you can't even learn. You start. All of us, we start from the yeah. bottom, you yes, know. Yes, yes. But I wasn't let 
um, nobody has let me start from the bottom. It's like they already have expectations that I should be perfect mm. and I should already, you know, do this and do that. So with me, I think it's more about my influence because most of the times my manager would be like, they want to host you. And I'm like, I'm a DJ. Hello? Mm. Like things have changed, you know? But um, I think they want to book play, me. Do you play pre-mixes? No, I don't. Mm. I don't mm. at all. Mm. Yeah. What BPM do you like playing at? 113. Mm. Mm. Okay. All of them. We had a bet. You wouldn't know what BPM stands for. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So what happens now? Now that I know, what, who's, who won? Who won? Who won? Hey, no one. <laughs> I do know. How about that? <laughs> so how do you feel when you make mistakes and then they trend and then like, oh, tell Mahashi, you playing horses. Oh, man. So with me, when it comes to social media and people's like, you know, yeah. I feel like people will always talk. I want to learn. I want to grow. Mm. And I'm not perfect right now. Like, I just want to learn from everything. Mm. So even now, I can just... I feel like I'm a good DJ. Mm. How was my set the last time you heard me? Hey, man, I was drunk. I didn't hear shit, man. <laughs> but, you, but you told my manager that I had a good set. Yeah, because I wanted an interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Okay. <laughs> Well, no, but I don't. I don't remember. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, I don't okay. Lie to you, yeah. yeah, but I mean, the artist. <laughs> you could have lied. Yeah, no, I know. Please, lie. you could have lied. Just try to lie. <laughs> I am a cheater. I am a cheater. I don't what's, what's your rider? What's your rider? Oh, um, I'm I'm a simple girl. Hennessy, yeah. Yega, and Moe. Uh, and a food platter. I love food more than anything. So yeah. Yeah. Just that. And your rate has it gone up or is it still the same? <sighs> um, what's your rate? It's still the same. What's the same? So, for an hour set, it's 15. Oh, that's not bad. Mm. Yeah, shut up. Man. I will hold like Cheers. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> is actually rich, so, but you know that, uh, obviously, they always want to negotiate, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, you get to, like, you don't always get the 15, right? So, you always, like, maybe... Four. Wait, are we talking rands or dollars? Rands. I've oh, never shit, been I'm outside the dollars. country. Sorry, <laughs> oh! I've never talked to and dirhams. <laughs> and dirhams. <laughs> and pounds. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> and pounds, yeah. Hey. How much is your rate? <laughs> How much is your rate? Uh, I, I've got a hit now, so I need to relook it. Uh, you have to. <laughs> gotta take it out. For up. sure. But I also, I also really wanted to just have one hit at least. Because, yeah. you know, being, being a DJ is really like... The music is not my passion like yeah. and stuff. But yeah. I just wanted to... So you get high on demand. Because mm. I realized that regardless of who you are as an influencer, as long as you don't have a song, it's quite bad. Yeah, no, I mean, look what happened <coughs> to Anna Waffles. As soon as she had Tanzania, she just flew. Yeah, yeah. she flew. So, yeah, I mm. think I just want to have at least one song. Which which DJs do you aspire to? Uncle Waffles? Who, who do you aspire to? No, no one inspires me. For real? Yeah. Not I even just, me? You don't DJ, You don't man. DJ. Hey, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no one. No, no, no. But I love all of them. Like, mm. they, they're quite good. They're quite unique. So. Yeah. DJ Zinte, not even Zinte? No, no, no. Jeez, why? You think they play trash or what? No, I think it's always more about when we meet, like how, you know, you are. Oh, the energy. The energy. So I, I, just, I just feel like... What, you didn't, you didn't get, receive good energy from Waffles? No, I've never seen her actually oh, okay. before, but DJ Sinclair, of course. You didn't get good energy from her? No, we met at what? H&M and H&M, actually, and it was just like so awkward. So, Do you think it's because she knows you're coming for her bags? For her bags? Yeah. I what mean, you like, mean? you the hot in thing that's popping now. She's got two kids, two baby daddies, you know, it's a mess. <laughs> Yeah, I know her. her <laughs> you don't have no kids. You know what I mean? She's a hot thing in the market. Ish, thing is, when it comes to competition, I really don't like competition. Yeah. I compete with myself, the girl in the mirror. But I do get inspiration here and there from them. But to say that I look up to them, that's something else. Yeah, man. I interviewed... Oh, you want to ask something? Yeah, do you find that a lot of women in this industry are not nice to each other when they bump into each other? Yeah. I feel like all of us. That's you know? weird. Why is it like and that, guys? Yeah. I I don't know, man. I don't know. But with me, because I'm always home, so I never go out. But maybe when I trained or whatever, I would get like unfollows from like these big brands and you know Brands of hum- uh, females. Yeah, females of like, course. Like I don't wanna be associated with yeah, you. Yeah, I just you. I feel like you bad news, you're the red line in the industry. Yeah. So but in person I've never had that because I'm really hardly out. So you don't bump into them? No, no, no. So you live your life behind your Instagram. Yeah, I'm just always indoors. <laughs> So you 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 live for posting. Yeah. 
But you're not a social person No I'm not a social person at all So mm. according to Dora Mungi I don't know if this is true She says you extort men for money Who's Dora? Dora Mungi That's uh, Tebukho's favorite uh, Best Who's friend she? She's my f- No she She's my friend, yes, she's my yeah. friend. Um, I interviewed her on City Girls, very interesting girl. So, I don't know about the extorting part. Do you? Explain, what did she say? She said you extort men for money. Oh, I don't even know about her. Hmm. So, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> so, you've never heard this before? No, I've never heard this before. And what do you mean, Kakai Amen. You don't extort money. <laughs> where, where, where does she say this? Uh, Can we Google it? Uh, hey. It was like on a live <laughs> Was it on a live video A, a YouTube live. channel TikTok on, on, on the Gossip Girl Whatever uh, be, No On City Girls Yeah Where was it like I think it was on a live I don't know Yeah Oh so she knows about me I think so I don't even know about her It's crazy Yeah So you've never heard about her No I've, I don't know Don't lie she... You've mentioned it in, the, in your lives man In Come my on. lives Yeah In my lives Yeah No I don't even go live Hey, days of our lives <laughs> No I'm serious I'm serious <laughs> I'm actually serious Oh wow She's bold for that Hey I need to check it out Eh Days of our lives Ah the beautiful. Oh yes <laughs> <laughs> So okay Forget about it. You're not extorting men for money. No, I don't. Mm. I I just love commitment. Um, I love love. Either if it's a broke nigga or not, I'll just as long as you give me affection, I got you. You know. So I don't. Yeah. Affection. Hmm. Cheyenne, you posted your a bank account for your birthday, your presents. So that's yeah. Affection. It happens that you meet uh, guys that are on a different level. So you would date a guy who's broke for affection. Shame the devil. Shamara, affection comes first at my age. <laughs> At my age, I feel like it does more than money because yeah. I make my own anyways. Okay. But is that the money that you make? <laughs> is it enough to fund your lifestyle though? Oh, what's my lifestyle? Louis Vuitton scarf. No, no. Oh, no. is this Louis Vuitton? Yeah. Sure, man. <laughs> Damn. Okay. And the, I mean, the shades. It's once in a forever. This was my birthday gift. And the scarf. It's yeah. nice. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck out of here. You can't be getting this from gigs, man. Even I can't buy this. Huh? Then we different. Dollars. You've got two kids. <laughs> you have, oh, he has two kids. Yeah. Crazy, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. No, no, man. We different. Lie. No, what, what? Okay, here's what I want to understand, right? Mm-hmm. Why is it if How you guys? How much do you think this cup is? Eh? How much do you think it is? Eight uh, k. Shout out, cheers. How do you know that? Because he buys them. Exactly. How much is it? How much so is you it? can afford it. You is can it afford it. Oh, no, I was guessing. Ah, <laughs> I was guessing. Good guess. No way. <laughs> Here's what I don't understand, right? You girls, right? And, and you, Tebuko included. If a nigga is funding your lifestyle, why can't you just come out and say, and say oh, this nigga is funding my lifestyle? Like, what, it, what's, what's the big secret? It happens once in a while. Right now, I'm in a relationship with someone who's funding me. So, but if it ends, at least I still have my yeah, own shit. Good. Do you understand? Mm. So, it's not always. Like, these niggas, unfortunately, people are not always going to be in your life forever. So, you always have to have, like, a backup plan. And then the girls that follow you, don't you think they want to be an influence in a DJ and live to that lifestyle, but they don't know it's being funded? I can't remember. Maybe role model. <sighs> I'm just here to be real though, more mm. than a role model. Mm. So if people like my realness, then it is what it is. But what's your realness? He's asking that is if is the realness saying I'm a DJ and then somebody's funding your lifestyle, or the realness is saying I've got a funder and I'm a DJ and I'm an influencer. No, I'm a DJ. I'm an influencer. I make money from boosting brands. I make money from actually being on the decks. Mm. And then when a nigga comes once in a while, mm. I will let him come. Okay, mm. but even if he leaves, because mm. there are quite a number of options, and sometimes they do have wives and whatever, mm. I'm still able to stand up. On my ground yeah. Do you understand? So yeah Hey you 2000s are crazy man So you don't even care That he's got a wife I mean they tell us later <laughs> How'd you meet a guy Who's 45 I don't know He's been waiting for she Science for 21 years divorce. <laughs> divorce Divorce again. They never divorce <laughs> It happens <laughs> They never divorce It happens Oh Let me just take these off hey? Have you ever met uh, One of um, your you. Snack attacks wives? My, my what? <laughs> Snack attacks wife no, his sponsor's wife. Yeah, your sponsor's wife. No, I've never. never okay. Yeah, but I've had one who actually called me. A ring. Girl, what's happening? She just wanted to know about his his husband, her husband, sorry, because it was just all over social media. Mm. So she just felt like, you know, this guy is really 
big and he has a big profile, so he just wanted she wanted to sort things out for him. And do you think most of these? Huh? Rants- what do you mean? You didn't hear that part. What? Her husband, the woman wanted to sort out her husband's affair for Cyan. So the husband was the wife was coming things down, coming her down. Right? Yeah. For like sure. you are fucking my husband, please don't talk too much. Uh. <laughs> For real? <laughs> hey. Why you miss that? Which level is this one? <laughs> hey. What are you being for real? Yeah, of course. I've had that once. So you didn't extort her and say, "Okay, give me money so that I can." No, shut up? not even. Okay. I already had someone else who could do that for me. So you're like, I just keep your husband with nah, right It is what it is. Plus, he's <laughs> weird and stuff. <laughs> guys, are you guys are so weird. <laughs> Like you had fetishes. Pella, when it comes to money, it also comes with disadvantages, like weird personalities. Enough. Yo! Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, money knows good, yeah. 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 No, I've never experienced that. Ah, come Sorry. on. Never, never. Come on. Never, never. <laughs> I'm just 21. Can't even say that. <laughs> well, you got, but you got an anus. Care. They don't care. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, this big bum needs to enter. Not me, child. Did you ever get shot on in Dubai? Would I ever what? Get shed on in Dubai. Shit, shed on. on. yeah. Bokakir. Bokakir. <laughs> <laughs> For the right amount. How much? Hey. <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> $400,000. How much is that in rents? Like, uh, times, times four. T- no, don't just dirhams. Oh, not dirhams, sorry. Dollar. I'm thinking in dirhams. So times 18. 100,000 to 1.8 million. High four. No, I'm good. For real? Yeah. 8 million? Yeah. Mm, mm, you what? Don't eat it. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's creepy. What, what's the weirdest thing that someone has ever requested? Like uh, someone that you've been with? No, not someone I've been with, but in the emails, obviously. And my manager gets a lot of like people, obviously, saying, can you do this? You know. Do what? Exactly Fart? that. Like, oh. um, farting? No, no, more than that, actually. The one in Dubai. The the shit, shit. Yeah. Oh, and they actually show you pictures, like, this is what you have to do. Oh, my And goodness. different pictures, and then, like, this is the amount you get. So, I've just never been interested. That's really disgusting. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go all out for that. Yeah. yeah. What about noise? Okay. What about what? Animals. What about animals? Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> you were Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Horses. What about horses? There's n- niggas that fuck horses and shit. Niggas and so, women. So what does that have to do with the lady? No, what is the lady? Woman. The is gonna do you. No, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's wild, bro. It's crazy. There's sick shit out there. <laughs> no, no. So no what? What? I want to know what is it you wouldn't do. That's what I want to know. Get shut on. She's like, okay. Yeah. What else? What else? Yeah. All of Ain't that. No, you know. You know. I've never do. I'll, I'll never do that. Mm. You never. No. Mm. Hmm. Okay. No, I'm. I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next. Um. Oh. Threesome. I don't mind that. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind, <laughs> I don't mind that. But, That's not but, a bad um, idea. Man. The other ones, nah. Horses yeah. and Porsches, no. Never. So you'll do humans. Anything human. Do. Yeah, anything human. Do. Okay, I'm trying to think of something like weird, man. Would you let your sponsor... <laughs> <laughs> if I have, yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. I don't know, man. Give me something crazy, man. I don't know. I'm oh, but my mom's fisting. gonna watch fisting? this. Fisting? <laughs> what about fisting? What's fisting? Hey, no, it's the same thing. It's like putting the uh, fist in your bum. Oh, but not in the bum, in the vagina. In, in the vagina. vagina. Yeah, but what if there's penises? Small. Oh, vagina's too small for the yeah. fist, bro. It's too mm. small. It's too small. Unfortunately. Mm. Damn, man. This is crazy <laughs> shit, so the man. fist goes all in, like this. Wow. <laughs> Do you get celebrities in the DMs? Oh, <laughs> a lot. Hey, you lie. A lot. <laughs> a lot. I, I get a lot of that, yeah. yeah. Whether you have a picture with your girl or not, like, they're just always there. I think that's also what pushed me to not really want to commit anymore because guys are just never satisfied. Is there a celebrity got a DM from you like, whoa, I wasn't expecting this one? Oh, man. I I just feel like they're all in the same level. Yeah. So. But there's got to be that one where you're like, fuck, nah. This one in my DMs. Do you think you damaged at your age? No, I'm not. Man, we, hey, we <laughs> am. On a hundred, I'm not. We in the DMs, yo. We in the DMs. I still have value. Yeah? <laughs> so, yeah, I have had one. Who was it? Uh, Mara. Ah, you got it. I mean, you didn't respond to the DM. I mean, you did nothing. <laughs> you did nothing. I mean, you told us about a year people in Top Notch. They're not booking you. Ah, uh, Mara. Just, okay, give us one name, one name. Who's been in my DMs? Yeah. Somebody who's going to be mad at me because we're still friends. No, you won't. <laughs> we'll bleep out his name, yeah. We'll bleep out his name. <laughs> I don't trust him. 
Oh, but he's in a relationship, man. It's but so he sad. But he's not. You did not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here. This is not City Girls. You should have come with City Girls. One name and then I'll move on. Okay, let's talk about the one that was here. He's not that big, but it's Ndu Browns. He's been in my DMs. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. Some black diamond dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we had him do on, on the show. He said he made you have your first orgasm. He said that. Mm, he gave me your first orgasm. But I watched the, the show. Mm. He, he said didn't... off air. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I mean You're talking about Big people here So Yeah Yeah I, I'm just gonna talk about him Cause he spoke about me But it's true though No So he didn't give you an orgasm <laughs> But I thought on, on, on the live On the uh, podcast, yeah, podcast He yeah. said that I was just doing a music video shoot with him No no but off air Okay me. so you're finally Saying it out that Yeah Okay yeah. cool yeah. Off air he told me He gave you first orgasm I was like oh wow That's bougie bro <laughs> Imagine. Did he? So it's true. Small boy. Come on. I can mean it's in the Well, I was more I was more into the other guy because they were like a a duo, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he's just like a normal And then my police did you date my police? No, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, I did. You sound disappointed. I mean, I didn't let him smash. Mm. Uh, At that point, I would have, but I was still a virgin. I was still young. And now, it was three years back, actually. Three years back, mm. man. So, so you guys were just vibing. We were vibing. I would go to his place. We'd go to gigs. But then, obviously, because my friend offered what he actually wanted, then he went for her. Oh, yeah. So that's how, like, the whole scene of, like, screenshots went out and whatever. And I was really... Oh, I was just intoxicated, you know, to post all of that. But mm. that's the reason why. So, but we're cool. Are you still friends with the girl that my police smashed? I've never seen him. I've never seen her since. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, but I think if I saw her, I would just say hi. What was it like rolling with my police, man? Oh, I mean, obviously, I'm not a host yet. Yeah. I'm not a DJ yet. Mm -hmm. When I go out, people don't even notice my existence. Mm. But when I'm with him... I mean, it's something. So it was a big deal yeah, yeah, yeah. at that time. And I mean, he's a very chilled guy. Mm. You know, he has absolutely no problems with anyone. Mm. So also his energy yeah. more than anything. Um, him not having to actually force me mm. um, because he understood, you know, mm. where, where I was coming from. So yeah. Do you regret it? Not giving him. Mm. I do, Shem. Nah. <laughs> I so so Pori, Pori, you can get it. I don't show me a girl and I don't I don't know I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't I don't I I I <laughs> Guys, <laughs> did, did, you, did you ever see him in studio making music? No. Turn you on? Mm. No, I've never. When he's doing the piano dance like no, this. No, no, I've never. Mm. Yeah, but I do see him at gigs sometimes. I was less with him at Moloko and everything was just chilled. And then Buster 99, what happened there? <sighs> oh. um, wow, I just feel like as a human, you just have to look at yourself in the mirror more than anything. And whoa, whoa, you're telling Basta to look in the mirror. <laughs> and when you do... Is he ugly? <laughs> no, no, besides that, besides that. I didn't say, I didn't say, I'm but then also see... Come on, Francis, never say Basta. Why are you looking at me? But so, Rina, I'm here for music. <laughs> Can we talk about yeah. the fact that I'm here for him to at least make a, a, an EP for me? Yeah. But who, guys, uh -uh, it, it doesn't work like that. Just look at yourself in the mirror, see <laughs> if you can fit in or you can at least charm her or you, you are at least on, on her level, level mm. at least. So, yeah, it just, wow. He, so he wanted to smash. Yeah, he got straight to the point mm. and already he had someone, other different girls. Um, they <laughs> so basically, Buster was <laughs> ambitious. Oh, like he had an entire vision. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I made it clear. I was like, can you please, like, you can be my brother in the industry. Like, Whoa, <laughs> your brother zoned him. <laughs> yes, yes. Like, you can just teach me, like, the basic things that I need to know, you know. But, ugh, man, he was just more into that other side. So, so you didn't even do to, one track, nothing. Nothing. But we did go to studio. Yeah. And, 
well, time was just wasted. Hours and hours until the a in the AMs, like 5 a.m. Yeah. For nothing. I actually had songs, mm. but they just didn't want to release for me because obviously... But I see why he went to Busta. He's a hit maker, man. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. He's really great at what he does. Yeah. The producing side, yes. Yeah, yeah. He's good at that. So now, are you still looking for... Me. No, I know. It, it won't work. So what if I give you 100,000? Mike, Mike, Mike. Oh, what if he said he'll give you 100,000? No, we it's... We look in the mirror. No, it's more about how you... No, I just don't go with anyone. That's good. I want to hear that because I want to find out if it, if you was offering money besides the EP because the EP, you don't know if it's going to be a hit or not. Yeah. But if you had guaranteed cash, would you have? No, no, I wasn't going to go. Sometimes it's, you know, even if during, you just got to look cute. <laughs> <laughs> who's, uh, who's, uh, who are you looking at doing a hit with now? Who are you working with now? Oh, so I'm thinking maybe... Bori? I would do... <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly, it can be anyone. Yeah. Anyone yeah. that has a dope song. Yeah. They just add my name there. Because, I mean, what am I going to do? Yes, yes, uh, yes. Um, You know? Yeah, yeah. So as long as my name is there, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Anyone. But I get a lot of that. Like, I get a lot, a lot. It's crazy. But I just also wanted someone who's going to help me also like with the views mm. the stats mm. so yeah I'm quite pa I'm very patient with my journey when it comes to DJing so anytime don't you just hate these niggas that just put their names on songs that didn't do anything <laughs> ah but it is what it is man <laughs> I don't I don't <laughs> thanks for asking I don't <laughs> you don't you, you have a problem with that nah no man, it's a joke. It's an inside I joke. I feel like it's an inside joke. <laughs> no, I'm going to... And I'm, then, you know, I'm ghosting, so... I'm going to have an piece. EP coming out. So the EP is called Songs I Put My Name On. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Songs I Put My... Wow. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I want to ask you, between Ndoom from, from Black Diamond, Pasta, 99, and Pori, who would you marry, kill, fuck? Who would I what? Marry, kill, or fuck. Marry, kill, or fuck. Mm. So I have to choose like... Yeah. Oh. I'll definitely marry Pori, man. Oh, okay. Oh, you got a soft spot Pori. for Pori, man. Pori's a sweetie. Hey. Pori's a sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would tonight. definitely kill him too. Hey. Because, because he's a liar. Yeah. He lied. On the social media platform. Mm. That this is the one that gave you your first orgasm. No, he lied also about that. How? How is that even possible? People, <laughs> There's no way. So, um, he also lied about the music video shoot while I've actually... We had a serious thing going on. Like a really serious thing going on. And huh? while the effort was too much on my side, you know. Um, so, I would kill him. For sure. Mm. Definitely make sure he's dead. Because, yeah. We've been through a lot. And for him to just turn it out like it was a music video shoot, it is, it's just crazy. But I also think he did that because of my bad reputation sometimes. Uh, you know, sometimes you're trying to protect yourself or maybe you would joke to your friends or mm, whatever for being with a girl like that. Mm, you understand? So I do understand where he's coming from, but I did a lot. Mm, so if it was any other guy, it would make sense, but not Ndu. Ndu, Rutomile Fatsin from the bottom. So he did give an orgasm then? My man. Okay. There is kill, there's marry, there's what? Fuck. Okay. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not just fuck. Die. You gotta fuck Buster. Die. You gotta fuck uh, Buster now. <laughs> ask him. You want? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't hear the fuck part. Maybe Pori fuck, mm -hmm. marry no one. Um, no, Basta is to. not even necessary. Like, you have to choose. Everybody has to have a category. Maratabu ho. No kheta. Konyala mang namo baba bitre. I can go to Kuala Lumpur. Okay, and then do. No, I can't. I, I've, I've escalated. So you, you I'll never go back to do. Yeah. So yeah. now it's just like an option to do that you will never do. <laughs> I cannot. Let's just leave it. Because. Yeah, no let's way. move on, man. There's no way. Oh. So, so yeah. what happened with this guy? Last week, who, did, who you paid the bill and you took the car. Ugh. Man, you got drama. For, you should have a reality show, man. I should have a reality show. And I've actually been approached by quite a number of brands. I'm watching that, bro. <laughs> so I will. I will eventually. But man, this guy. Oh. So do I explain from yeah. the club scene yeah, or yeah, whatever? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is someone that I was just busy with at some point. And, you know, being in the public eye and obviously sharing your locations sure. with the... Messes. 
the cover arts and um, the posters. Yeah, the know, flyers. They get to see where you are. Of course. So then he followed me and then he just really wanted to apologize and he apologized to my manager. Like, I'm so sorry, I'll never hurt her. Can I just go with her today? And after What's the gig... Ex? Not really an ex, isn't it? <laughs> okay. It's not an ex. Sneaky link. No. What? Just. Just. Or random. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> random, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... After my gig at coffee, we decided that we're going to go to a different location. Sure. And I feel like if you didn't have money, it was already late. We could have just gone home. Mm. It was a very simple decision and to make. And you like being home. And I like being home. Mm. So we decided that we're going to go out. He's going to spend. He spent obviously on us. Hi, I go to the house. I my little laptop. He's South African. Yeah, he is South African. Got a laptop. Yeah. <laughs> He goes out with the waiter uh, With the laptop And I don't know what they do But we wait there With the whole stuff And remember that When the bottles come My name is there but his, People Obviously expect me to Make the payment of If course. he fails to Because mm. I'm the brand here mm. So I It took hours Four hours Five hours He didn't pay <laughs> I had to swipe. <laughs> so then I took his car. But I couldn't have So I took it, but what happened, the plot twist is. I don't know who's it. You're wild, bro. <laughs> but what, 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 what I did like you it, expect though. me to do? Yeah. I mean, it's my money. Yeah. Yeah. And you could have gone home. You just wanted to go home. I just wanted to go home. Mm. So then when we got to the police, I went to the police station to just speak about the situation. And they just said I should leave the car. Mm. And so he scammed me and the police um, officers by mm. saying that he already paid at the club. So I should go at the club. So he had a fake slip. So when I get to the club, and where did he get the fake stuff from? I don't know. He left up on any printer. I don't know. <laughs> so then, so then now that's how he gets the kind that I took his furniture. You took his furniture. Yeah, I have all of that, and I'm selling. <laughs> Which furniture did you take and how did you TV. take the furniture out of his house? Oh, so he had like um, a key that he gave me, an extra key. But for like a while ago, it was a while ago. So I had to look for it to find it like in such a situation. So it took some time and then I went to his place and I took all the furniture. Damn, man. But what do you mean all? Did you hire a van? Oh, no, I still have that much. Not on TV for the least. I have my driver here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but he has a bigger car. <laughs> uh, well, like an H1 or something. Yeah, yeah. bigger, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I had to take everything. And now I want to buy some furniture. What do you have? TV, can I have TV? I have all, the, all his desi designer shoes. I made sure... All this over a bill. Hi, hey, well, 20, why did you pop? <laughs> why did you pop? Why did you pop? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I just need him to get them and give me the money. Even so he doesn't have them? I don't know. So why doesn't he just leave you with one TV and then I, back? I don't know. I don't know. Even the police tried to contact him. He's he's just a weirdo. Like he, he's just been off. He's a groupie. <sighs> Clearly. He fucked a groupie. So now, I, so now <laughs> I'm just like with so many stuff. Mm. Yeah, and I, it's just full in my place. Yeah. I have to complain. I have a lot of things in my place that are not mine. Mm. And... I don't know what I should do with them. Maybe just put them in auction. That's why. That's why I'm bougie. You didn't pay the bill. What happened with your... um, (laughs) Did you have a miscarriage? Um, Oh, I actually didn't, hey? Yeah. What happened there? So... (laughs) I I, I aborted. What? Mm. You... But women have choice. Mm, mm, your mm. body, your choice. I think with my body, it's my choice. Yeah. I do everything I want with my body. So choice. that's what I didn't want at all. Especially in the environment my baby was going to grow in and how the baby was conceived. Mm. So <coughs> I How was the baby conceived? Oh, well, the, the ex. The Cyan Bujio. Yeah, the Cyan Bujio. Okay. He just... Because we are sneaky linking, I just say that. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so obviously you use protection, protection, right? Mm, mm. So then he just came to a conclusion that, you know what, I do not want to use protection. He was completely drunk. He came from the club. And yeah, he just did what he did. Mm. So he raped you? Yeah, of course. What? Because it's rape. Mm. And I always reminded him though of that because he always, it was an open conversation with me and him because he always 
apologize of how he treated me, but he never really wanted to get to that point. But I did inform him that don't don't forget that this is what she did. Hey, so because of like the environment and the kind of guy, I didn't just I didn't like that guy mm. at all. Like. I didn't have a mission for him. I didn't want to do anything with him. It was just like a simple transaction. We meet, whatever. Mm. We do this. That's chai. So because he wanted a committed relationship, he also forced to have a baby with me. And with the with his words, he's good with words. He's good with asking for an apology. Mm. So I had to forgive him and forgive him and kind of like believe that he really just wanted like pure intentions and wanted like a commitment with me but he couldn't even maintain throughout the pregnancy so that's what yeah. happened so you your 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 boyfriend raped you yeah can you explain what that is when your boyfriend raped you because some women some people will say, how can your boyfriend rape you? Oh, yeah, of course. But remember, we were sneaky linking at that point. Okay, so we became link, yeah. committed when he actually forced and really apologized. He really begged and he really apologized and he really seemed very sincere. So um, the raping situation, I think it comes when you don't, the, the, the other party doesn't want to use protection, but you want to. Mm. It's not like you're denying that we should have some mm. bit of fun. Of course. But you're denying the fact that even if it doesn't come with a baby, it comes with diseases. Of course, I, yes. I know you're busy with so many people. Mm. Like, I can't risk that. But I was forced to actually f- risk and to actually face that. And Have you ever had any STIs, any diseases? Uh, no. Mm. Uh, not yet. Mm. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> so far, I'm sorry. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, with him, he just really just did what he did. And forcibly, because I was crying, I was open mm. about how I felt. And it was a turn on to him because he was very intoxicated. Mm. It was a turn on for crying, you know. The crying was like, oh, so sick. Yeah, it was like, like so for a nap day day. Give more kirang ways. So, yeah, it was very, it was a very traumatic so experience. So why don't you press charges? Because you thought nobody would believe you or? So because or I've been, no, I wasn't afraid. Okay. At all, hear me out. I wasn't afraid. But because I've been through such situations... You've been raped before? No. I've been in court. And I know it's an entire procedure to report such situations. As long as he seemed genuine about it, like, I felt like it was okay. But when the pregnancy, when I found out that I was pregnant, then I just... How many months did you abort? (sighs) Six, five months. Six. Six. Yeah. Damn. Was that legal? No, it wasn't legal oh. at all. It wasn't legal at all, but I had to do it because now he just came with like this whole committing suicide because I really wanted to terminate. It was a thing where I shared with him from the beginning. He threatened to commit suicide. All the time. All the time, he would come to my place with a gun and say he's going to kill himself. He never actually wanted to kill me until the Wasn't this guy incident. married? Married to who? Oh, okay. So, which one was married? Okay. Nah, he wasn't, he wasn't married. But also, I just, I just felt like his apology seemed very genuine. And I just didn't want to go an extra mile to maybe... Sayan, what would you advise girls your age about this industry? A girl, okay, let's say a, a girl finishing high school who's popular, like who was popular, like you. I mean, what the stuff you talk about is very, very. It's a lot. Oh yeah. I've so been what would you lot. advise? Yes, you've been through a lot at twenty-one. What would you advise? And I'm not judging you, you know, but what would you advise other girls if they came up to you and said to you, "How do you prevent yourself from getting into these kind of situations?" So I just feel like it's more about independency. And it comes with um, focusing on your studies because I dropped out. Yes. Because it was COVID and we are a family of seven children. Mm. So you can imagine that my, f- my family couldn't do that for me. Mm-hmm. And I just had to do something for myself. Sure, sure. To sure. create a living, mm. to pay for my bills, to do this, to do that. To so survive. I think more than anything, for someone that's finishing matric to be specific, just focus more on your studies because... There are quite a number of options out there, even if it's you with someone that's maybe more of a protective or whatever, but it's how you let them, it's how you actually let 
that happen to you. Like you let that happen to you for a specific time and you can just go out of it in a split of seconds. So the more you forgive, the more you do this, that's when you stay, that's where you create uh, more pain in your heart, that's where you create more damage in your heart. <laughs> I can say that at this point, I'm very heartless because of what I've put myself into. I've stayed because I was always thinking that these people would change, those people would actually do better by me, you know? So I just feel like more than anything, studies... Do you think that your parents put you in the situation? No, not at all. My parents have never put me in such a situation. So why did you I have chose, to survive? Mm. I chose to be in this situation. And if I didn't want to live this luxurious life, it's an luxurious I, life. Wouldn't yes. have, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been able to put myself in this situation. I would have stayed home. There's still food at home. It's just like mm. at home you don't have anything, mm. you know. So I put myself in this situation. And taking yourself out is just the important part. When you see a red flag, that's where you decide that you're going to take a few steps back. But I've always been patient because these people have always told me about mental issues. And I have to like wait on and expect them to change. So, But you, you, you need to tell me what advice would you give a Cyan Bougie 17-year-old? Sure. Popular on TikTok. <laughs> no, that made me look up to you. What would I'm not saying you're a role model, but what advice would you tell them? Tell them, would you tell them, do you want the, is this luxurious life worth it? Is it worth your mental health? Is it worth you being cold hearted at 21? Or what is it? What would you advise them? I want to have the scarf. Would you say, is it worth all the trauma you've been through? It's not. Yeah. For real. Yeah. It's not worth it <clears throat> at all. It's not worth it. What you is worth it? Are you being Oprah right now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck? They look at just being Oprah. <laughs> no, it's important. I always, you know what, guys? I always. <laughs> hey, she's rebranding. <laughs> <laughs> we just learned, you know. I think it was. It's important. There must be a conclusion to everything. She's talking about all the shit she's been through. Mm. You, you need with, to have but, learned. But with all the shit that I've been through, I've pushed myself. To work for myself. So you've pushed yourself to independence. To independency. Okay. So that's when I decided that, you know what, I'm not going to let a nigga control me. I'm not going to let a nigga abuse me. I'm not going to let a nigga do this. But it also comes with pressure when you have to work for yourself now because you don't have anyone that's going to help you, like, at all. So you just have yourself. You have to build brands. You have to open certain things you, to maintain that lifestyle that you have already portrayed in the public. So Sell TVs. When last were you broke? <laughs> Sell TVs. Hey? Sell the TVs. That yes, yes. When last were you broke? Ooh. <laughs> when last was short? Because I broke. Imagine what a question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke oh. now. So, I think maybe it has to be a year ago after I broke up with the daddy. Okay. Yeah, and I had to face life. Okay. Because now I'm so used to like the LVs. I'm so yeah. used to but I chose to leave, right? Mm. I chose to be the bigger person and now <laughs> I have nothing. So I you didn't nothing. save up. You just had the bags no, I didn't in the save shoes. up. I got a car, I got an apartment, I had different designers, but what else did I have? Nothing. To pay up. Obviously you had to pay up for your apartment. You have to pay up. If you have a car, you have to do petrol, whatever. So So you had to work like a normal person. You had <laughs> Is this the Thank car you that, you, that you had the accident with your friend? Yeah, that's the car I had an accident with. Yeah, man, what happened with that? Is it true that you sacrificed it or attempted? Attempted to. Mm. <laughs> that's absolutely false. Mm. Yeah, I, th I don't think a normal person would want to sacrifice someone else's life by risking their own life mm. and wanting to also um, damage their own car. I mean, having a car is a big deal, you know? What happened, though? What, what happened? Why are people saying that? I mean, it's one person yeah. because she was in an accident. Mm. And it's crazy because when such things happen and these people like over-exaggerate a specific situation, when they see that the two minutes cloud is not working, the two minutes cloud mm. is not working, they come back and they feel like, I can just say sorry mm. and we can just go back to normal. Mm. But remember that like this stays in the public. Even 10 years from now, mm. Mm. it will still be there that... Yeah. I am a sacrificer. Mm. Uh, what else did you say? I don't know. Mm. But all of that, you know. So what happened is my steering wheel mm. just got stuck. Mm. And it was actually around 6 p.m. Mm. in Limpopo. I was going to promote a new lodge. Mm. So I had to go with my mother. Mm. But she 
couldn't because she had work and then I had to choose a best friend. So So is it true that she went to the hospital and then you still went to the lodge to promote and still So work? it only happened 2 days after I got admitted. Then I had to go to the lodge because now I don't know anyone in the popo. Mm. It's 6 hours away from home. My family is with me though. On a hundred, and her family is also with me, mm. so we're just waiting for her to recover, and then we can just all go back together at home. Yeah. Yeah. So this thing of me having to go to a club or whatever, it's absolutely false. Yeah. Cause I mean, which club? Cause I don't know anything in Bobo. It was my first time going there. All right, cool. We're gonna play a quick game, ne? It's called One Must Go, the Slay Queen Edition. <laughs> Are you ready for this one? Eh? Eh? The book. Yes. Let's go. All right. You must Let's tell me go. which one must go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Sima versus Kanisa Jatreni. Yeah, I definitely uh, who must go? Mm. I must choose. Yeah, who must go? Mara, how how are you playing such a game? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Neither do I. Sima is the lady out there. Oh, that's Sima. Oh, that's Sima. Oh, what up, Sima? <laughs> oh, she's oh, a big she TikToker. <laughs> she's definitely staying. I know. She's definitely staying. <laughs> she's staying. Who's who's Kanisa Jatreni? Ima. Oh, Fula. Kula. Kula. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's yes, yes, yes. But I love her yes, so much. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you're not a TikToker. Yeah. No, I told you I'm not that from that generation. It's hard enough managing Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Coachella Randy versus Mugelings. Um, Mugelings can go. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Who are those? Who are, do you know Coachella is a very close friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with him from a very young age. He's We're so all from cute. Mamilodi. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. a guy? Yeah, it's, it's, he's, he's gay. Did, he's been only a Mashuko's child. Hey? You know Jem Ellie? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. The son. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. he's big on TikTok. Yeah, he's big on TikTok. Big. He's like, oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. TikTok's the place, eh? Yeah, TikTok. We is. need to get into it, and we. Do you guys get paid for it? I mean, for promotions, oh. more of uh, the marketing side, yeah. having to promote brands. But TikTok or itself doesn't pay you. Yeah, no. I wait I until it they pays. Did. You. Journey. Because <laughs> apparently, there's some TikTok guys. You know, you know the one that makes the food, and then. Okay, never mind. But that's the most famous one. Yeah, the so it's like Kylie Jenner on Instagram. She get paid. We don't. Do you get paid? Mm, no, no, but Kylie Jenner is the most get followed. Paid. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's more about who you are. Okay. All yeah. right, Ghost Luby versus Primo. Primo, who's Primo? I don't know, man. It's just they send me this shit. Oh, man. I would choose Ghost Luby because that's my girl's man. Period. <laughs> okay. Hey, man, is she? Hey, we're not female. She's, she's she's maybe you should be followers. part of the interview. She has a million followers. She has a million followers on TikTok, yeah. actually. <laughs> Oh, and she's so, <laughs> so what are you doing? She's like on 400k. Wow. Yeah. I just need skits, lip-syncing videos. Come say hi. Come, 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 come on. Come, friend. Come on, Cameron. She's say so hi, sweet. Man. And I was like, you're oh, not an wow. influencer. You wouldn't know. Can wow, you are even man. bigger Look than me. You. Hi, guys. Hey, man, this new world. Hey, these kids are fucking shit up, man. Yep. Hey? I, I had to come with her now because we had to shoot content today mm. for her uh, own channel. So I was just like, let's go to an interview first. Dope, so, man. You. But you guys have a nice relationship. It's very nice, sisterhood. Let's call one, Anne. And we're opposites, you see? Mm. Yeah, so no, she's no, like no, chill. No, I'm like... She's very chill. <laughs> Please. Because these friendships always end up in flames. I thought she was the ice lady. She's very chill. Yeah. She's, she's yeah, man. <laughs> she's uh, not a slay queen, the sun. Uh, Doro Mungi versus Temu Of course. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's very... Very obvious. <laughs> Hello? That's beyond obvious. <laughs> I got you, girl. Oh, no, I'm gonna stay. <laughs> Sorry, Dora. If it, you have to choose between me and you, I'm staying. Man, this has been amazing, man. I feel like I've been watching you guys do a podcast, man. Your guys' world is crazy. Yes. Yeah, But crazy. anyway, anything you want to ask, Sian? No, no, no. Well done. You know, I think you're growing. But I don't want to be over about one So... <laughs> But it's I can't believe you're 21 with the shit you've gone through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. And I think I feel like it's more about, I don't know, being used as a Are testimony. Are you doing as a number? Don't you think I'm being used as a testimony? Mm. So that I can like uh, share with people so that when they go through that, they already know what to do. So maybe you're going to be a pastor in your future. Maybe well, I'm already a pastor's kid. Yes, maybe I'm a pastor's kid. Mara, I'm a pastor's kid. Mara, I'm a pastor's kid. Mara, no, but you know, King, that... that um, There's a woman that I love on on Instagram. Uh, Give me Tidi Jakes's daughter. Yeah, Sarah Jakes. Sarah Jakes, Sarah Jakes. and I she's amazing. Her. And she also went through a lot in her yeah. life. She was prostituting. You're a big K. I am. So what does your dad say when like sees you trending and stuff? So I think my family knows me personally. Oh. So they already know that. Yeah, probably this is happening just to gain something from her, because you know. The Lord is upon bougie. you, my child. Sign fucking bougie. So, but like they got me. Hey man, you, PK, you PK kids are wild, eh? Hey, <laughs> really? <laughs> Get it when they're praying, they're forgetting about their kids. They're putting them on the side. Parapello, na? And then Luna Bagay. And then you're like, Dad, Dad! 
Nadie got me. Nadie got me so good. Man. No, no, I mean, I'm not to say you're horrible, but I mean, you know, maybe a prayer too, Mr. No? <laughs> I hate you. By the way, have you guys seen um, uh, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power? No. Ah, you guys are missing out, man. No, you gotta I check it out, much. man. It's probably the hottest series right now. Really? Yeah. On Netflix on, or No, 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 it's on Prime Video. Prime Video? Yeah, Do I man. have that? You gotta I get it now. I don't know what that is. Everyone that I meet, I'm telling them about the show because that dope. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so make sure you check it out. Uh, new so what's episode it drops tomorrow. Uh, it's like Game of Thrones, fantasy. Actually, let me not spoil it for you. Watch it and then tell me. Okay, cool. Yeah. On Prime Videos, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, but anyway, uh, I heard your account got hacked, no? Yeah, my account's both on Instagram and TikTok. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I started all over again. Shit. Yeah. So what's your new handles now? Sign Bougie. Um, sign.bougie24 on Instagram. And sign Bougie24 on TikTok. How do you guys But I will hacked, retrieve man? them back. It's it's from that dumb ex. Mm. Yeah, he just like managed to get my account and then he just... He managed to get my phone. Mm. Yeah, and... He just decided to do so all of that. So what's he doing? What's he doing with your accounts now? I don't know. What is he doing with my account? Mm. But I managed to um, let him have not have access to it anymore through yeah. a human patch. So I will get them eventually. It's just gonna take time. All right, cool. Shout you out are to a you, boss. Man. Shout out to you. You are a boss. boss. You're a clever little boss. Yeah, yeah. man. Ice pointies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and be careful, she'll sell you this one. <laughs> <laughs> she, no, she wants to come and work at Club X. I think she's welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we are here, man. Podcast and chill. Boom. <laughs>